हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर महेश पटसालगे फ्रॉम नवी मुंबई आई एम कंसल्टेंट फिजिशियन एंड स्पेशली प्रैक्टिस फॉर डायबिटीज एंड थायराइड डिसऑर्डर एंड अदर एंडोक्राइनल डिसऑर्डर्स आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग टुडे अबाउट एफ एन एस सी ऑफ थायराइड ग्लैंड वाई एफ एन एस सी इज नीडेड वेर इज द थायराइड ग्लैंड वट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ थायराइड एफ एन एस सी एंड एवरी थिंग टू इनिशियल टू स्टार्ट विथ वी विल जस्ट टॉक अबाउट वट इज मीन बाय थायराइड ग्लैंड Thyroid gland actually is a butterfly shaped gland which is situated in the neck of our body uh, just in front of your windpipe uh, it is butterfly shape as i said initially uh, it produces t3 and t4 hormone t3 and t4 hormone are very important hormone for our metabolic system from head to toe it works and uh, when t4 and t3 hormone are not produced if it sufficiently then it is called as hypothyroidism if t3 and t4 hormone are produced with high quantity it is called as hyperthyroidism but the third disease which is very important that when the patient presents with thyroid swelling or neck swelling what should be done for it now we'll just see on the picture that the thyroid swelling if you just look that it has been found out that 40% of the population are having thyroid swelling at the age of 40 years either it has been seen by the doctors or patient himself or sometime it has been detected by ultrasonography or ct scan or pet scan which has been done for some other purpose it can be solitary nodule a small nodule or it can be a diffuse uh, increase in the size of the thyroid gland now why it is been important to understand and go ahead for investigating and treating these patients because it has been found out that 90% of the patients uh thyroid swelling is benign or non cancerous but 10% of most of the thyroid swellings can be malignant now this malignant swelling if you can diagnose in the earlier stages and treat them earlier it is very good for the patients in uh, patients for their future now how this thyroid swelling produce they, they are generally asymptomatic sometime they have a pain in the neck they can be having difficulty in swallowing or sometime breathing difficulty can be there now how we have to assess this thyroid gland this thyroid gland has to be assessed by the blood test which is called as tsh if tsh is normal then we need to go ahead for ultrasonography of thyroid gland if tsh is low then we need to do thyroid technician scan which is called as thyroid scan now if tsh is low that means the thyroid gland is functioning very high then we that technician scan tells us whether this is the hot nodule or cold nodule where it helps us for further work up of this nodule now if tsh is normal then probably we need to go for ultrasonic and ultrasonography of the thyroid gland and neck to just see the features ultrasonic features of thyroid gland which are very very important and lastly we have to do the fine needle aspiration cytology which is called as fnac test of your thyroid gland now this when we should do it when this thyroid gland uh, fnac has to be done which is very very important now whenever you are doing ultrasonography of the thyroid gland we need to see the the thickness of the thyroid gland whether it is cystic whether it is mixed or whether it is solid to solid thyroid nodules are very important to do fnacs what is the size of the nodule size doesn't matter actually but the size of the nodule how many nodules are there whether this nodules has been spreaded uh, just uh, uh, out of the thyroid gland what are the margins of the thyroid uh, nodule whether vascularity is regular or this vascularity chaotic the vessels which are going inside the thyroid nodule which are very very important and whether the hollow is there that is also important and presence of lymph node in the neck that is also very important so there are certain features which are suggestive of thyroid cancers this swellings or this nodules has to be do, done with fnac that is fine needle aspiration cytology now according to american diabetic uh, american thyroid association uh, the thyroid nodule has to be done fnac if it is more than 2 cm either it is spongy form either it is cystic or solid whatever if it is more than 1.5 and if you have ultrasonic features of uh, thyroid malignancy we should go ahead with that if it is 0.5 Centimeter and more than that, and if the nodule is hypoechoic, if it is solid, then we need to go ahead with thyroid FNC. Now there are some patients who are just harboring with this 
thyroid swelling for years together now there are some red flags they have they have to understand because this thyroid gland fnse has to be repeated in these patients who are already having swelling then what are the red flags if the suddenly the swelling size is increasing if this patient is having hoarseness of voice or voice changes if the patient is having difficulty in swallowing if the patient is having difficulty in breathing these are some red flags we need to understand and we have to do urgent fnsc and repeat fnsc has to be done now what is actually fnsc fnsc is actually a fine needle as the word says fine needle it is a small needle we have to put inside the thyroid nodule and most of the time i try my best to use ultrasonography guided because it is very good the localization of the thyroid nodule and the malignant part which will be taken inside the nodule so we put the needle inside the thyroid nodule with the guidance of ultrasonic uh, ultrasonologist and then we remove the material and this material is been tested on the uh, on, under the microscope and this test actually help us for differentiating this nodules whether it is cancer or whether it is not cancer which is very important in terms of patient and the doctor and lastly this test is very simple cost effective and very accurate so hence you can the reproducibility of the test is also also very important now <clears throat> this test actually help us nicely for the follow up purpose for the treatment purpose which has to be done now i am just attaching the another video which we have recorded for from our patient hello friends today i am uh, showing how fnsc of thyroid has to be done this she is 34 year old female presented with midline swelling we did ultrasonography for the swelling but that midline swelling came out to be thyroglossal cyst but she had one hypoechoic 1 cm nodule in the left lobe we have with along with us uh, Uh, the radiologist who is specialized in thyroid ultrasonography and histopathologist also she is also specialized in thyroid fnsc so we are uh, doing the ultrasonography with high frequency <coughs> linear probe now we will be entering the needle uh, the histopathologist is going to enter with the needle uh, as it is a thick swelling uh, solid swelling we are not attaching the uh, we are not attaching <coughs> syringe to it uh, she is multiply yeah. inserting the needles uh, yeah. inside the thyroid nodule she is inserting the needle multiple times uh, with the help of uh, the linear probe and uh, we can easily see the same thing inside uh, on the uh, on the screen also Uh, how it is easy and safe because ultrasonography guided fnsc of thyroid is very safe accurate and this just we are seeing the vascularity also in the thyroid gland now we have taken uh, the sample inside the needle because the capillary action has been uh, used for collection now she is preparing for the slides how the slides has to be prepared as she is showing uh, the slide has to be prepared for two stains he stain and pap stain the he stain is used for the cellular pathology and anatomy uh, anatomy at the same time pap smear we use for seeing the nuclear uh, anatomy to know the features of malignancy is there or not thank you so much for my team who is uh, she is sudha and uh, dr sangani uh, for uh, the help for this video thank you so much now how this report helps because this report the cytopathologist is going to differentiate or the typifying of this report by bethesda classification there are multiple classifications are there but in india and in our setup we use bethesda classification and this bethesda classification 1 is non diagnostic tab in this situation we need to repeat this the uh, uh, fnsc by ultrasono guided because that two classification says this is a benign lesion means it is not a uh, non cancer it is not cancer it is a non cancerous lesion then we need to follow this patients clinically because that three is called as a uh, follicular lesion of undetermined significance uh, these are the follicular lesion this has to be again repeatedly done fnsc as per the need Bethesda 4 is uh, actually follicular neoplasm this follicular neoplasm has to be done thyroid lobectomy 
the lobe which has been involved with the follicle, follicular neoplasm. Bethesda 5 is called as uh, classification called as suspicious of malignancy and uh, in these patients total or near, near total thyroidectomy is, should be done and if the thyroid nodule or FNAC is suggest of clear cut malignancy we need to go ahead with total thyroidectomy or near total thyroidectomy. Friends, FNAC is very very good test but at the same time we need to understand that this test can have some complications. Now this complication either can be bleeding at the site of FNAC, either you can injure to the blood vessels around the thyroid gland which is called as carotid artery and the jugular vein. At the same time you can injure to directly to the trachea or the wind point or pipe also. But this can be avoided if you use the smallest needle of uh, around 25 gauge or 24 gauge with the help of the expert who are doing this test is very very important. This video is been done for the patients who are seeing it or some of my colleagues who have not seen the FNAC of thyroid gland in the past. Thank you so much uh, for uh, seeing this video.